Hello everybody and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me for a, another look at Baby Dino Adventures. In the last episode, we take a look at the first five levels and we will take a look at the remaining four levels, breaking them apart in uh, breaking them down so that uh, we can get an idea of the gameplay, the mechanics, and why I like this game. I gotta say, I love the overworld. It's a very reminisc reminiscent of Super Mario Brothers 3, and those little smiley clouds are just amazing. I love them. They're so happy, and let's get in here and see this out. We are in forest level number six, and we start out with some TNT as we get closer and trying to ouch not destroy ourselves but a little bit more trickery trickery there trying to get uh, all the things and going quickly with the dynamite or the TNT there uh, so it's a little bit tricky trying to get you know, it's showing this is gonna be a little bit harder right here. You know, you're gonna have to be quick, get uh, uh, through the TNT and that sort of stuff. Mm. I didn't really expect my food to be so small. Just joking, of course. More seriously, little one. I have seen strange yellow birds out there. To be honest, I'm not sure they're really birds. If they start to follow you, turn around and keep an eye on them. This is how I could run away from them. Good luck, little one. Okay, so we got some strange birds, or maybe not birds, but we got something up here. I know what it is, and I am loving it. So again, we got this explanation point uh, warning us that there are dangers ahead, and they are not birds, but they are instead Shy guy bees. That's what they are. Shy guy bees. I love them. I love them so much and they are amazing. So it is typical shy guy fashion. Uh, you look at them and they will go stop. So it's a very easy to manage these. You could even they'll come to you. So just like in shy guys, you could actually direct them in certain ways by jumping. So now they're going to be high and just you know they they work in almost every way like a normal shy guy and i think they're really cool and we need to get that box before it blows up so the bees are continually like following us all the time you cannot jump on the bees you cannot attack them in any way shape or form there is no attack function i'm in a little bit of a trouble here there is no attack function in this game which is a little disconcerting i really wished Oh, we better get out of here and uh, this is see that's the bad thing there you've got it so that there is such a stun that's one of the bad things that i i don't like about the game uh minor thing that i don't like about the game the stun after getting hit is really too long and uh i wish to see that reduced a little bit i i i think that if you get trapped in a certain area like like just before you can really easily just get stun locked and die so uh i really think i closed that wall up and it was not quick enough uh, unfortunately um but you can get stun sunlock there and die pretty easily so you got to be careful um i would like to see that that stun gets reduced a little bit and there was one other all oh, the only uh, oh I didn't know I could hit him. I thought I... Oh, wait a minute. I didn't think I could hit them on their heads. That's something new and interesting. So I will have to try to figure that out. How did I... Because I've tried to jump on his head before and was unable to do it. I got hurt. Uh, so uh, we'll have to try that out. There is like on these levels up here, there's those little um, enemies that are on the overworld. And then you got the beehives here. So I think that's really cool that they kind of have that overworld in uh, level connection there. The only other thing, minor thing, again, these are two minor things that I, I would like to see changed. 
the stun lock, the stun when you're getting hit is too long. And the other one is I kind of wish we had some kind of attack. Now we, we may be able to get an attack later on, but there's just a dash. I really would like to see some kind of way to, uh, let's see if I can get this thing hit. Um, some kind of way to, oh, I can. That's kind of neat. Maybe, I don't know what it is, but yeah, he runs back into his, so there is a way to get rid of the bees. Just bop them on their head. There you go, be a little bunny foo-foo and bop them on the heads. Um, that's how we get rid of the bees. But, uh, so yeah, I would like to have some kind of, a, uh, I wouldn't say aggressive attack, that's not the right word, but I would like to have some kind of offensive, I just fell down the hole, uh, some kind of offensive um, to be able to deal with some of the stuff. Uh, maybe I can jump on things. That might be an offensive that I had that I have that I didn't realize I had before so there is a little bit of an off offensive that we could do but I really would like to see some kind of um I don't know fire breath or uh I mean I'm a, uh, a dinosaur I'm supposed to be like a little t-rex so I guess I don't have a fire breath um uh, I don't know, something there, a chomp or a roar that I can scare away enemies. Something in which I can um, effectively uh, handle these people. And I really would like to, they do change colors though too. Uh, if you can notice the bees that uh, come out are a little bit darker than the ones that um, after I hit them, they get a little bit lighter. Um, so there is an easy way to see which ones are aggressive and which ones are not, which is cool. But yeah, I really would like to have, oh, ooh, we got a, a bug there. How am I going to get on this plat? Oh, there we go. <laughs> uh, yeah. So we got a little bit of a bug there. Uh, again, this plat, uh, this spinning thing is in i think yoshi's island as well as super mario i think it's three or world the one that has Raznor in it that's the one i'm thinking of but again you're on a way that it's a it, there is a pit when they introduce this but we've in it, we've dealt with pits before that's not a big thing but also right here when you jump up on this platform there is a safe spot right there so it does still have a little bit of a safe spot and there is a little bit of a bug there so uh be careful if you do check it out um we'd be able to get across these guys pretty quick watch out for the nitro and there's another one again the platform or the safety spot right there is a little bit smaller so they're stepping up the difficulty a little bit i like it i like it let's see and now we're down to two um we still got a we got a more of a safety net here but we have been reduced to only two platforms instead of uh, four so that would make it a little bit more difficult to be able to get through there. There we go Let's go and see what we can do. Can the bees come up through here? They can. Oh The nitro also affects the bees Interesting. I kind of liking this. Um, I really again would like to have some kind of, of, of offensive But I go oh, that's not good. <laughs> I totally missed that. I was thinking there's a little bit of a platform over there, but there's not so yeah be careful um let's go back so yeah it's a lot of fun i really do like the game overall um i like mainly the way it steps up in the difficulty very well done levels well designed levels uh building on previous uh mechanics and when introduced um new mechanics it is basically um over some kind of safety net and i want to get rid of this guy because he's following me for a while let's get rid of him um it is over some kind of safety net you that you can deal with pretty easily and then um it gets more complicated after that so let's get this all done here we go got all those meats ah see right there i'm way too stunned way too long and those bees are able to get on top of me and there's nothing i can do about it so that's really 
um like the if i had to name one thing that i i, I was the most complaint about the game it would be that but again it's not that huge there's not a big loss for death and uh, i ran right into that nitro there's not a big um pintle pintle penalty for death so it's not that big of a deal but um, actually i don't think there's any penalty at all for death so it's really not that big deal but still it's a little frustrating to be stuck there and to be swarmed by those bees and, and not be able to do it now if there was a shorter i wouldn't mind if the, the the stun was there and it was just a little bit shorter that would be good uh but yeah i think it's just a little too long no let's collect up all these meats again I do not know what the meats are for, so we'll have to try to... I don't know if... Ah, get out of there. Get out of there. There we go. I don't know if it'll be something that will be revealed later on, or it's not been implemented yet. This is an early access. There is a link down below uh, for the Steam page, but it's a little... Um, I want to get those... Get those... Eh. How many did I get? I only got, oh, I got one. Oh, that one didn't get hit. How did that one not get hit? I do not know. And I'm not sure how I'm standing on this platform, but I am just barely one foot on and just be a barely able to. There we go. Let's go run. I can dash. Keep on forgetting I can dash. Let's jump over that. And we are on our way to the end of this level. This has unfortunately been one of the more difficult levels so far but uh we'll get through it not too much of a trouble here and hopefully we can make it the nitro i like the nitro it's pretty cool um i'm gonna go back down this way let's see if we can take some of these bees out as we go oh shoot i forgot about that i was thinking i was going to try to um, I'm gonna try to get like all these bees out of here and it's not gonna work well for me It is not gonna work well for me. Okay, we got a couple but they're still coming pretty fast at me I need to get a lot of these guys out of here and the bees are just coming at me like crazy Look at that landing. It was an awesome 3.0 landing perfect stuck it uh, So let's jump over the door and go up here and ah oh, no, I have to go that way to get that rest of the little bit. No, I don't want to go back. Ah, I'll just finish the level. Okay, we got two more levels to go through and uh, see what they are all about. Uh, oh, well, uh, I didn't mean to do that. I'll lose those, but oh, well. here we got. Bad speaking. Other green creature, not my friend. You, not green. You friend? Croak, croak. D I'm, I'm just out of curiosity. Does every game that has a uh, text box have to have, just out of curiosity, do they all have to have a um, an ellipsis at one point when they're talking? I just I just noticed that like in almost every game that has text box and somebody's talking they um, Will have a point in which they do an ellipsis and I do not understand why that is But I, I find it humorous that there's always an ellipsis in there. Here we go Let's get up here and actually I just noticed that I was wrong. I think in the last episode I, I said that I liked oh there must be Oh, a little hidden platform there or something. I said that I liked the background, how it uh, kind of looked 3D with the uh, three different colors there and the depth. But now that I, I just noticed that it is three different backgrounds and it is parallax. So uh, there is uh, a difference there. And I just now noticed that. And I think that's really cool. I wonder if I can jump on this guy's head. Can I jump on his head? Boink, I can. Oh, he likes me now. Oh, oh. I just learned, learned so much stuff right there. Look at that. But can we get back under here? Yeah. 
Okay, let's grab. I don't want to be careful with that nitro. All right, let's. Trying to get all the box boxes possible, really. And I've learned all kinds of stuff. So, uh, one complaint I've found that uh, I actually do have an aggression. I have a jump attack that I can do. I did not realize that before. So that's awesome. So yeah, so that's, I would like something ranged, but uh, again, not a huge deal here. It's not a big deal breaker, but I would like to have something that was a little bit more of a ranged um, uh, kind of attack. But again, not a, deal breaker get out of there oh i got hit by a oh gosh that's like right at my head <laughs> base level oh oh go oh. come on we can do this yeah you can go back up here and get these meats we need to get all the meats okay whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah! okay we can make it peas everywhere peas for days okay i like this guy though the pea shooter is funny. He is shooting like rapid fire there. There we go. Oh, I didn't mean to exit the level. No, there was so much at the end. Oh, okay, I have played this last level. Um, I'm very, I really much like this and uh, it's definitely a new interesting mechanic in a platform. Oh, mm, hello. See another ellipsis, why? This is really annoying. I left my house for some mollusk reasons but i can't go back lots of obstacles are in my way could you help me please and his name is sheldon i love that okay so this is i i typically do not like here's this I, we came across this before i talked about the moving those boxes but uh i typically do not like um escort levels but i think this is a really cool effect and something you just don't see in platformers that you have to get this guy to come around not only do you have to be quick and get ahead of him and stuff like that but oh i gotta get that down there quick okay but it's really cool it's inventive you gotta make sure that there are certain areas and things that he has to go through and things that he has to you know avoid and stuff like that and i really think it's very interesting to watch this develop and make that um you know take away the give him that pathway that he can go through and in a platformer that's just not something that you see very often in a platform and former and i think that's really cool so let's jump on this p guy because i know i can make him love me now i right, get rid of that hopefully it goes quick enough oh it's gonna blow him up oh no oh no we're in trouble is it gonna blow him up and ruin him come on ah yes okay so we got to get above him quicker and get that out of the way so yeah i really think this is interesting it's an interesting mechanic to do in a platformer and i like it i like it a lot um, so yeah, it's something that you would not normally see or think about in a platformer and the way they implement it is even better. Uh, so it's, yeah, so not too terribly upset about this, uh, what you would call it, this, uh, type of, uh, escort. That's the word I want. Escort mission. This escort mission. Um, let's get to this all out of my way. I could get. Okay, go ahead and stop him. He is way back there, so hopefully I can get that taken care of before he gets here. He's on his way. He's a little bit slower than I am, but uh, yeah. I wonder if I could hit him. If he was in his shell, I wish I could like put him in his shell and then I could have ran into him and pushed him away. That would be a cool little mechanic. Like if I knew something was coming up and I didn't get to him quick enough, I wish I could bop on his shell a couple times and he would go in his shell and then I could push him back a little bit. That'd be an interesting mechanic to add, but uh, yeah, that'd be fun. But that way I could uh, have a little bit more of an opportunity to affect his. Whoa, feels good to be back. 
Thank you so much, little dino. Oh yeah, you want to know my mollusk reasons to leave home? Well, I like to watch those flowers dance, don't you? I do. I really do like to watch the flowers dance. They're pretty cool. They're amazing. Huh. Looks like I just received a mail from the developer of this game. He wrote, This is the end of this demo. I hope you enjoy these few levels. Feel free to share any thoughts. Thank you very much for the playing. More will come soon. Hmm. He is right. The demo is finished, but have you tried to get all the grades and all the eggs already? He <laughs> see this is just the beginning of an amazing adventure, buddy. I think it is just the beginning of an absolute amazing adventure, and I very much like it. Um, I would like to thank the devs again for allowing me to have a key. Very awesome, and I want to see if I can get these guys knocked out. Um, but it is a very fun game. I highly recommend you guys take a look at it. And especially if you like platformers like I do, platformers are probably close to one of my favorite games, uh, game genres of them all. And uh, this definitely has a unique take to it on some of the things. It also combines some of my favorite games. So it is like bonus and bonus there. Um, Super Mario Brothers 3 has long been probably one of my favorite games. I wouldn't say, I don't know, I've played a lot of games and a lot of games over the years. Uh, there might be some newer ones that I like edge it out a little bit, but definitely Super Mario Brothers or is Super Mario Brothers 3 is in the top uh, three of my favorite games. So uh, definitely puts in some nice nostalgia there as well as um some nice nostalgia as well as great new mechanics so definitely take it out take a look at it it is baby dino adventures in the steam uh take check out the steam link in the description below thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate it if you like this video please give a thumbs up that really 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 helps me out if you'd like to continue to see me put out and show off the best of modern retro retro inspired retro like however you want to call it or whatever you want to call it um follow i was going to say follow subscribe that's the word subscribe to the channel that does help out as well thank you so much and i will see you all next time bye everybody